So we're going to look at conjugate acids and bases. Uh, this will be important to us when we cover buffer systems, where we need a conjugate acid-base system to create a buffer. So a conjugate acid will have one additional hydrogen ion than a conjugate than base. A conjugate base will have one less hydrogen ion than the acid. And then a acid-base system reacts to form an acid base. So we end up with two conjugate acid-base pairs in there. So we'll start off with uh, calculating conjugate acids. So conjugate acid from HPO4 to minus, we're going to add an H plus to this. So we'll end up with H2, PO4. The plus is going to reduce that negative charge by one. So we end up with the H2PO4 minus. To get the conjugate base, we're going to subtract the H plus off the HPO4. So we lose that hydrogen, we end up with PO4. And we're taking off a positive charge, so we'll end up with a three minus charge. For oxalic acid, the conjugate base of this will be subtracting the H plus to get the conjugate base. So we're left with one hydrogen, HC2O4. We're taking it off a positive charge, so we end up with a negative charge on that. For sulfate, we're looking for the conjugate acid, so we're going to add a hydrogen on here. So add a hydrogen. So we end up with the HSO4 minus as the conjugate acid of SO4, uh, two minus. So for an acid-base reaction, we're going to have two different pairs of acid bases. Uh, these reactions go in the direction, spontaneous direction, from stronger acid base to weaker acid base. So to find these conjugate acid base pairs, we're looking for two species that differ by one hydrogen ion. So we're going from our HSO4 to SO4. So we're losing the hydrogen ion. So this is our acid. And this would be our conjugate base. So acids and bases are always reactants. Conjugate acids, conjugate bases are always products. Here the ammonia goes to the ammonium by adding a hydrogen. So this is our base. And this would be our conjugate acid. These reactions are taken as being reversible. Every so often we'll come across one that uh, the equilibrium lies far in one direction. But otherwise, these are reversible reactions. On the second one here, we have an amine, an organic compound with a nitrogen in it. And we see it collects a hydrogen. So it's receiving the proton. So since it's receiving the proton, this is the base. And this would be the conjugate acid. And then we see that the water is losing the proton. So it starts off as the acid. And we end up with the conjugate base.
And our last one, our hydrogen cyanide turns into cyanide. So it is losing a proton. So it is the acid. And cyanide is the conjugate base. Then the methyl amine is gaining a proton. So it's starting off as the base and ends up forming the conjugate acid. So in each case, we have a, a conjugate, two conjugate acid base pairs. It's going to include one reactant and one product, one reactant, one product. So the reactants are always acid base, acid base, acid base. The products are always gonna be the conjugate acid, conjugate base, conjugate acid, conjugate base. Um, and this again will be important when we're dealing with buffers uh, starting next chapter.